YouTube, Dawson Rider here. Welcome to my review for Power Rangers Lightning Collection Lunar Wolf Ranger from Wave 11. And this is our first dive into the Wild Force series. Let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the accessories first. We have our human head here for Merrick, which looks fine. It looks a little bit like he's got a swollen lip, like he just ate something and had an allergic reaction, but you know, it's passable. There's two sets of fists, one are just holding weapons and the others are these kind of cool, like posed animal hands you can even see on him. They actually have claws like they do in the show, which is really neat. They're probably one of my favorite unique hands we've gotten. You also have your standard lightning effect part. We get two versions of his weapon. This one is kind of more the blaster mode and the other one is the more the saber mode, which I'll show off here in a second it's in his hand. And they're overall passable. I wish the gray plastic was a little bit less dull. I think that for the most part, it's not as bad as some of the recent ones. Like I think it looks better than the Dino Charge Morpher in Pinks, which looks rather blank. I think this one is decent, like I said, passable. I just wish that it didn't have that cheapest looking gray plastic. It's not quite that cheap gray plastic you would get with like Bandai figures. It's a little bit shiny, but it still looks a little bit cheaper than I would like, but it's not a deal breaker or anything. Here you have the regular mode for this one. Again, you see what I mean? It's kind of got a bit of a shine to it, but it could stand to look a little bit less cheap. As far as the figure itself, I've seen some people point out that they were curious about what I would find with two in particular problems with the boots and the stripes. I'm gonna be honest, I stopped kind of closely following the microscopic lightning complaints, but just to address it from my perspective, from what I see in this, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with my boots. Like, both the ones I own and the ones on this. Like, they're the right color, they match. You know, looking at suit pictures from the show and stuff, there doesn't seem to be any too huge discrepancies that I notice. And as far as the stripes go, if you count the amount he has on the show suit, it's six. He has six here. I don't know what the issues are, but honestly, if mine had five stripes or seven stripes, who cares? But for me, it looks fine. My general rule of thumb for Lightning Collection quote-unquote issues is if I have to go looking for it, it's not a problem for me. But other than that, overall, for this figure, I only have one issue with it, honestly. It's not like it's a perfect figure, but my only issue comes down to the helmet and that it's too big. I think detail-wise, it looks pretty good. No QC issues on mine. I think the paint looks solid. You know, the visor looks good. If we're not thinking about the way it looks in the show, the helmet overall looks fine. But when you look at it in the show, it is more slender, and this is one of the more noticeable ones. You can be very hit and miss when it comes to these. You know, sometimes you'll just have something slightly off, sometimes it'll be almost perfect, sometimes it'll be way off base. And in this case, I think it's closer to off base. It's definitely significantly, at least in my opinion, bigger than it is in the show. It looks almost more like a cosplayer, like, not like in a bad way, but like in a way like, oh, that's pretty good, but the helmet's too big type of deal. It kind of reminds me of some of the early MMPR releases, like Red and Black, where it's, for me, significantly off, and if they ever do an update one, I think it could make the world of difference. But that's the thing that I noticed most, was that the helmet is definitely too big. Everything else, though, for me, looks pretty solid. I like the silver paint they have on it. I think it's got a nice shine to it, a nice light-colored look. It all matches. You know, I know that the Ryu Soldier red figure or the Dino Fury red figure was a red and silver figure, but it had discrepancies with the silver. But for me, this all flows together nicely. I like the color of it. I think the navy works well. There is a slight difference here in the navy. It's a little bit darker here than here, but it's nothing too noticeable. I think overall for me, color-wise, in terms of the palette, I don't have too huge of an issue with it. It's not anything like the Pink Rangers discrepancies where it's really noticeable. Like overall for me, it's not a huge deal. Again, just look-wise, my only issue with it is I feel that the helmet is just a little bit too big. It's not even that that necessarily big of a deal, but it's there. Articulation, no loose joint problems, just right off the bat there, but you have your par for the core stuff. Nice ball joint here, swiveling, knee joint here, you have a nice hinge joint here at the foot. You have your chest articulation and your waist articulation. Hinge at the waist, ball joint at the chest. Nice ball joint and hinge joint here. Swiveling all around. Elbow joint, swiveling at the fists. And your nice head and neck articulation. And this one I think is actually one of my most solid ones in terms of the mold. I feel that lately I've either been getting them with like a particular loose joint or joints that were really too tight. But this one's honestly, it hits the sweet spot where nothing feels loose, but it doesn't feel like I have to break the knee in order to bend it to show the articulation is really nice. And as I mentioned, I really dig this claw effect part. Not effect part, but effect hand. I just think it's really cool because it's something unique to Wild Force and I think it looks really nice. But now let me compare it to a couple previous releases. We only have two other ones that I own, and this is the original 2002 release, as you can see right there. And there's obviously, you know, a significant difference here. These, as I've mentioned in the past, nowadays, are mainly recommended to people that like to retro collect. And that's why I like having them. It's cool to see, like, the history of it. So if you're looking for an all-around, more accurate figure, 
This one is obviously going to be your better bet. This is much more of a fun retro collectible. And not to mention, he's much more of a gray. His helmet is almost stylized. His elbows are coming out because his gimmick was like an action gimmick. There's a little thing right there. He goes, oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I And the other release here is the action hero figure from the Bandai Wave from the anniversary, which again, I stand by these figures for what they are. I actually don't mind the action hero mold. I think it's one of the more well-rounded molds we get. But you can see still the lightning collection ones, your much more overall accurate one. This one's helmet isn't 100% accurate, but it is more slender. But it's honestly not a bad figure for what it is. But neither of these are really that comparable. And that's the thing, is my only issue with the lightning figure, personally, like I said, is the helmet's just a bit too big. But with that being said, if I was gonna recommend to you one Lunar Wolf Ranger figure, it would be this one. Because it's not like it's a deal breaker for me. Like, yeah, it's a little bit big, but I still think it looks good for my display. I do kind of hope that somewhere down the road we can get an updated one just because it is one of my favorite suits and I think it would look just that much better. And it's one of those ones, like, the longer you own it, it doesn't look as off, but, like, I think once you get an updated one, you'll notice the difference. There's a lot of figures like that I've had where I'm like, yeah, this is a little off, but it's fine, and then they do the updated one, I'm like, oh yeah, that makes a world of difference. So that's my real only personal complaint about it, but for me, it's still the best release of all the basic Lunar Wolf Ranger figures we've gotten, and there's no figure art for it, and there there was no legacy equivalent, although that likely would have been a muscle-bound guy. But that's about it for this one, though, guys. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell. See you notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.